Let's go somewhere new, shall we? Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the internet. How are we today? I hope we've had a an excellent day or starting off on an excellent day. I have no idea when you guys will be watching this, if anybody's watching these videos at all. We are in a new place. Ooh, it's mountainside-y. And there's a nice little place where we can sit down and have some tea. Not that I drink tea, so that's a silly comment, really. I wonder what kind of hideous mechanical creations have infested this place. I suspect they will be variations on the theme that we have already seen. But I suspect there will be at least one new type. Because that has been generally how it's gone. There's been a new type of automats. Did I get to go up there? Was this? Is that just a backdrop? Royal Gypsum Quarry. No, not going up there. Ooh. Oh, or are we going down? It's possible. Hmm. Ooh, there's two of them. Um, the frost build-up thing again seems to be broken. It's a little bit annoying that that's happening more and more frequently. I mean, it's not happened a lot, don't get me wrong. But it has happened enough. Oh, you've got a hitbox on your leg as well. There we go. As you can see, it hits a massive amount of damage. Since all of mine is based around... Well, no, not all of mine, but a chunk of mine. Is based around alchemy. You'd kind of hope that something so significant would work 100% of the time. Is that a new enemy type? I don't think that was a new enemy type. Yoink. Frost grenades of an improved variety. How very delightful. Is there anything up or over here? There is. There's also... Looks like we are able to go up here. Suspended workshop. This mobile walkway leads to the depths of the quarry. I will explore the area and try to find a way to make it work. Okay. 
So in order to get down below, we have to explore the upper reaches. From the base of this handy vessel. Okay, we can now safely explore the area without massive fears of losing our currency. Though, to be fair, we've not really experienced the loss of currency very much. It's only happened, like, two or three times, maybe? If that. Oop. Grenades. Oh, I thought we might be using that as an elevator. But we're not. And that's blocked, so we're going round another way. Yes, I thought those might be very cool. And that's Sleepy Slidey. Locked. Locked. Hmm. Locked. Why? There's a tiny spider light thing over there. Inobservant. Missed. <laughs> oh. Not one of the breakable ones. That one's different. got a face on it. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh man, you are farther susceptible to freezing. Oh, is that what these things are actually designed for? Carrying massive boxes of dirt? Yes, there's another spidery thing over there. Uh, I'm going up here first. Ow oh, there. Ow. lightning aspected and these are pickaxe boys that aren't fire aspected which they have been up until this point I think huh oh I see so the intention was that we come over here Mysterious lower floor, isn't it? There's nothing here at all. Very odd. Oh, unless the, that was there and I missed it. Yeah, so the intention is to come over here, up, fight the enemies, dash across to here, dash across to here. Ah, lightning fat boy. Oop. 
Slid down the banister. That was cool. Uh, how do I want to do this? Not like that. Okay, they've got guns. Yeah, they stay frozen for a chunk of time. Oh yeah, this is uh the frost build-up's really starting to stack. So I I guess engineering was the choice. You fell over. How oh, and he spilt all of his stuff. Again, that's nice environmental detail. You know, they could just have had loads of these standing around, but somebody's had to put that little kind of set piece together. It shows that they've really taken some care in designing this world. This is quite atmospheric as well, with the, the light shining off the metal there. I suspect that wouldn't look as good with... Without ray tracing on. Yeah, and that's the way across there. Uh, there's a grappling hook point over there. Yoink. Some improved frost grenades. What if I do? Because this game isn't as challenging as some of the other Souls likes I've played, it's allowing me to enjoy the exploration a bit more. For some people, that not is pop. Uh oh. For some people, that's probably a poor trade-off. Oh! Oh, that actually froze it again, I think. So I think, if I just quickly recap, so I think engineering allows us to stack up affliction more quickly and elemental alchemy will actually allow it to do more damage. But we're not worried so much about the damage for frost. It also gives us a... Um, A chunk of resistance is, is, is what my brain is trying to assemble. I'm wondering then whether 10 engineering is going to be enough or whether I should raise it just a little bit more. I wonder what kind of a difference that's made to fire build-up. This place is remarkably quiet. He says, making a load of noise. Is this just out to... Yes. Okay, we've just made a way along the top there. One of my, I, I may well have said this before now, one of my uh, 
my biggest critiques of Thymesia was in its exploration and how its levels were... Uh, oh! What do we have here? Were they stacked on a box and I've destroyed the box? Um, Thymesia's exploration was a little bit dull because there was nothing interesting to find. The exploration here is better because the not only are the you know consumable souls to find that's the wrong button but we've also got you know grenades to pick up lore bits to to achieve and so on and so forth is it massively different you could argue no is the combat as good i'd argue that maybe it's not as It doesn't need as high a skill level as the combat in Thymesia. I think that would be fair to say. It's certainly got a very different rhythm to it, but it's also got, and feels like it's got, a lot more variety. Which is very odd to say, considering I have been using this setup now. Um, for almost the entire game. You know, I've been using these particular... Well, not this particular weapon. This particular weapon. Ever since the start of the game. And yet, I find myself still enjoying it. Whereas, I could not say the same thing for Thymesia. Where it was really started to drag by the end of the game. Where am I supposed to be going? Ah. Here we go. I knew there had to be something somewhere. So that's going to change the big lift in the center. I suspect. Don't think I even need to use that, do I? I've not actually used anything health-wise. Aha! Down we go. Royal Gypsum Quarry. I wonder then if we could access... Ooh! Not going to open this gate. We're going to open this gate. Okay. Before we go that way, let's actually go and explore over here, because we didn't. Ow. I'm going to pop a health potion. Yes, I definitely feel like fire could be, oh, I mean, fire is a massive source of damage. It just keeps on burning. You know, you can see the little time around it. Oops. So I think with these bigger enemies, Fire is definitely worth it, and I think it's almost certainly worth it on bosses. It's also probably very good at um, at working with like crowds because of how you could dot them up. As soon as they're on fire. It's not like you can just ignore them. But you can kind of leave them be. don't think there's actually going to be a huge amount over here. I know there's an enemy. Oh. Get out. Ooh.
But this is why I like... Oops. <laughs> this is why I like status effects. When we can control them. You know. One of the reasons why I disliked the uh, the status, the debuffs in soldiers, because they lasted far too long. And take the, taking control away from the player is frustrating, but taking control away from NPCs is great. Nice. I think, actually... Can we get in this building? Not through there, we can't. Is this a door? No, it's not. Uh. Huh. It looks like the inside interior of that place has been modelled, but. Oh, there's a chest there. That was well hidden. Grade 3 Flame Resistance module. Um, on the subject of chests, um, I read... that... Can we actually go inside here? I don't think we can. Um, I read that the... the locked chests that we saw in a couple of places... Apparently, they may open when the boss of the area is defeated. I don't know if there's any truth in that. I haven't been back and checked. And because it is a bit of a jaunt, shall we say... To actually even try and remember where they are. Oops. Oh wow, that really quickly freezes them. Jesus. Yeah, so the affliction multiplier must be to do with how quickly stuff stacks up. Oh. <laughs> Did not see him. believe we can jeez look that gives so much so much distance um i am not getting over oh am i getting over there this way i might be i'm not getting over there like that I was thinking I could get onto that platform and over there, but that's a massive distance. I think that's beyond us. We can't get round the back of there. There's going to be more to it than this. Oh, that's blacked, bla blacked off by a rope. The Grand Var. Oi? Oh, not French. Consistent disclaimer. Bestel. Yes, I really like what I call the set dressing for these places. Um, don't need to use that yet. <gasps> Do need to use those, though. Thou shalt not suffer a box or crate to live. Right. Let's take this route first ah. 
Mining pick enemy. Oops. I hit a little bit harder. Which is good, because enemies need to hit a little bit harder now, I think. Let's quickly explore over here before we... No, that way. Minus this way. What? What does that mean, game? Oh, shit. What's this? Dead. And... <laughs> See, this is what I was hoping for when I first started playing this character, this build. Oh, damn it. I think I was too close. Oh! I think I was too close there. Yeah, pretty certain I was too close there. Um, I was hoping for a, a a character that was, you know, an expert in status effects and control and this, that, and the other. And whilst I was really unsure at the start whether I had made the right choice, because you, you may rem recall me saying that I felt kind of weak. Um, you know, I I now understand why. You know, it was one of the, it's one of those character classes that does feel weak to start off with, and then get stronger as you. As you sort stuff out. Longevity module. That's just health, isn't it? Plus 80 health. Uh. Ah. Hitting me in the menu stopped my buttons working. <laughs> Oh, didn't like that. Um, so yeah, this is doing exactly what I hoped it would do. You know, a, a character class that starts off... Well, no, I wasn't hoping it started off weak, obviously. Um, but I kind of expected it to. Starts off weak, and then... Ooh. Right, this is above the starting area, isn't it? Yes. As I thought it would. I can't believe how long it took me to realise that this has a much greater distance on it. Oops. But that is very on brand for me. I think. I think the game wants us to go this way. I think. Ah, another Vestal. Hmm. I'm actually going to use it. I'm going to keep on going with engineering, I think. We're going to go full on um, 
damage stacking. What? Did you just shoot me through the door? Oh no, it might have been the guy behind me. Where'd he go? Oh, he, he outgoed from a distance. Four hits. Ow. Yeah, I, I feel like fire is a good thing to to start on some of these enemies. That's just sent us around in a circle. Um, I think fire is a good thing to stack, but then switch to frost. For the crowd control. Because it, it doesn't cancel the fire. <laughs> Just because they're opposing elements doesn't mean one cancels the other. Oh. This time it's over for me. Princess was ransacked. I barely escaped from the guards sent to arrest me. I must disappear and hope that things will one day turn to my advantage. This is the guy we're looking for, isn't it? Is excellent. According to my informants, the king is planning a coup de force against the Third Estate. I think it's high time for all of us to go underground with you. Once we're hidden in the catacombs, we can prepare a counter-offensive in peace. A lot of these NPCs look very similar, it must be said. He's indecisive as usual. Though they may very well have done so. IOL. as long as I serve his interests. God, I love the fashion, though. Uh, randomly, a hat. Oh, that, <laughs> that was the key item. I was thinking, why have, why have we suddenly acquired something we can wear? It's like, no, no, Demma. Not at all. Um, I know this makes me sound incredible incredibly old which is fine because as far as many people are concerned i am at a, a whole 41 years of age um i really like old-fashioned fashion you know doesn't mean that i'd necessarily wear all of it myself um but you know you, you look at old photos of, of british history in the 1930s and 1940s and 50s and 60s not so much the uh the 80s hello friend um because i was around in the 80s anyway but uh yeah the, the old fashions where everybody wore a suit and hats and you know bits and pieces it's like it it, it all seems so much more genteel and romantic i know that's there's also the argument of course that it oh, so it reinforces class structure etc 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 it's like yeah it used to but now it wouldn't would it i don't know um i, I just like old-fashioned bits and pieces i mean i'm not a hat person i look really stupid in hats um but you know some of the some of the clothing of this era yes obviously it was a, sh a sign of prestige it was a, a a status symbol that you could afford this kind of clothing uh, and therefore people did spend silly amounts on it but is that really any different to what we do today you know i i, I mean 
yes, brands, you know, your Versace and your Dolce and Gabbana and you know, your Nike and stuff like that. It's a lot, a lot of the wearing of it is prestige and, and perhaps because I don't really care about brands in that sense. It doesn't mean as much to me. But I imagine that actually, you know, if we look at all these, they've got names. Now, I don't think these are brand names. These are more to do with identifying with certain, you know, certain houses and certain noble families and so on and so forth. Which is, you know, very, very much a sign of ah, you you are part and parcel of me. You belong to to this group. Doggies. Ooh, slightly tougher doggies. Yeah, I, I, I don't really know what my point is. I just like old-fashioned clothes. If any of you are fans of or have watched Peter Capaldi's escapades as the Doctor in Doctor Who, I really, really liked the black um, coat that he wore. Didn't like the top button done up without a tie thing because you know i'm a teacher um and it's to be honest actually it's not even that i'm a teacher it's just that i think it's a little bit of a weird a weird look i know that's you know that's very much a me problem um i've just gone around in a circle twice haven't i but yeah i mean i really like capaldi's look as the doctor apart from that uh that top button done up same goes for matt smith's version of the doctor actually very similar um david tennant i couldn't pull his look off as the doctor he's too skinny and i am not i'm noting that there are a lot of signs with things on Ah, there's a lever over there. Oh, a spitter and a dog. And a demogen pressing the wrong button to buff up. Oh. Excuse me. Uh, let's heal. Nope. Whew. I do struggle in the heat of the moment in Souls games to uh, to swap to another healing item. Which is one of the reasons why I generally dislike consumable based gameplay. Oh, they, they do fire damage. Oh, jeez. Yeah, sod off. Mean enemy. Had to use one of my actual heals. We'll have a maximum of five of those. Because there were four upgrades for both amount and quantity. Amount of heal and quantity. Huh. Okay. That's impressive. Now, 
This is essentially just a big cave. But it's a nicely modelled cave where not everything is just kind of uniform and stuff. My favourite zone in Thymesia, which naturally this is going to get compared to a lot because they come out at such a, a similar time. My favourite zone in Thymesia was the the gardens and the undergrounds to go with it. I really liked the underground, even though... It was an optional area. And getting to it was a bit of a pain in the ass. Uh, can I... Whoops. Not like that, I can't. Can I get... Oof. Can. This looks like it's got uh, going to have multiple ways to go. And I appreciate that greatly. It also looks like there's going to be some enemies down here. Yeah. Oh! Oh, jeez, that plunging attack does a lot of damage. Mind you, I suppose that was a fire enemy, wasn't it? So it was likely to be weak to, to that. Essence of a revolutionary spirit. Uh... Huh... Ooh. Right, this is probably a mistake. No. Oh. A worthwhile venture. <gasps> On the subject of... I was just talking about that. I really... I do think that if... I hadn't got ray tracing on, you know, the the way the the metal glints, you know, metal is so important in this game. Uh It's a little bit flaky to latch onto that. The jumping feels like it's going to be kind of imprecise, but it's actually not bad. It... Hmm. Am I going to be able to make that? No! <laughs> no, I am not. Okay. Uh, now, <laughs> that's quite a distance, isn't it? So, we lost our souls a chunk of the way over there. Oh, what was that? They've got a buff thing as well. But what does it do? Okay. Hmm, where's it going to put our souls, I wonder? Hopefully, it will put them somewhere where I can actually get to them. Uh, 
But actually, I've noticed that one thing the game isn't particularly great at is... where it puts our souls. Yeah, see, they're not here, are they? Did we have a lot? Hmm. That's kind of annoying. I mean, I, I don't even know how many we had, so it's, it's not like I should be like completely enraged and at, th at this stage of the game anyway it's not like they're super difficult to come by but it's still a bit iffy programming wise one could argue in a souls game if you can't actually retrieve your souls because they have vanished somewhere into the ether. I really like that kick animation. Ah! Monsieur Mara's men waged a terrible fight here. Some of these poor men were trampled to death. Oh yeah, we're gonna have a well I assume we're gonna have a Titan to uh to fight in this area. You did not take a lot of damage from that. Nope. Oh. Oh, I hit, I hit him off the... Off his egg thing. The best thing about this wind-up is that it also, um... It also gives your stamina a fair amount of time to regenerate. Which I appreciate. This is how we're actually getting over here. I wonder if... Can we actually see our souls down there? Because that's where I assume they are. Yeah, that that's something I'd like to see uh, fixed slash tweaked. Because, you know, obviously it is kind of core to the souls experience. Interesting. Right. Yeah, so that was where we came from and jumped across there. Over to the right here is the actual path that we, quote unquote, should have taken. Yeah, we went that way. So, what was down here? Grappling hook up. Is this just a loop? Yes. Yes, it is. 
I like the fact that they've got these these signs, these crosses and minuses and stuff. It's like it's 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 how they'd actually do it in a mine. You know, they wouldn't want the laborers getting lost all the time. That was stupid. Hello, friend. Nope, that's... Yeah, now I'm starting to finally... I'm sure some of you are saying, finally you started using the movement abilities in combat. Oh. Eagle eyed? Eagle eyed. It's 20 hidden enemies. Uh. Uh. I think those are our souls down there. What is this hook point for? That's kind of weird. Unless we're supposed to jump down and come at it from that. But considering how oddly precise you need to be with the hook controls, I don't think I'd want to try any major acrobatics with them. Boxes. Also, why have I got the compass on? <laughs> This would take us up to the platform in the middle, which we've already cleared. That was how we came over here, wasn't it? Yes, yes it was. Okay, I think then... That that is actually that area sorted... So now we want to go... Was it this way? Ah! Well, I mean... It wasn't this way, but... Ah! Another module key. We've probably got enough to upgrade everything. Or well, should do fairly soon. This is the way we actually want to go. There's an arrow and everything. Uh, yes, that is back. That was the little hut place. Okay. Yes, the... Reserves. I really like this effect. Right, what are you? Lightning? Do you have friends? You are scouts. Oh man, I can stun like this poor bogger's death. Grade 2 respite module. What is a respite module? 
Respite, respite, respite. Something to do with healing, one assumes. Aegis's endurance. So stamina is fully restored each time she immobilizes an enemy. That's really good for kind of a stun lucky build. We got a load of materials then. Yes. Um, we've got actually enough alchemy now, or engineering now rather, to uh, seemingly stun lock certain types of enemies. I will uh, I'll attempt not to massively abuse that, because again, I'm, I don't want to make the game horrendously easy for myself. This is broken. Is this underneath the main shaft? Shaft. Can you dig it? Um, they barricaded themselves in to escape the enemy. The only way through is the hard way. <laughs> My way or the hard way? Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, why not click the like button and consider subscribing. Remember, you can ring the bell notification icon to get notified when new videos go live. And until next time, cheerio.